Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun birthday project to share with you featuring some of the latest goodies from the new July release with My Favorite Things. I'm gonna start with this new watercolor wash freeform stencil. It's a two for one. You can blend the outer or you can blend the inner. I'm gonna do the inner so I have a panel of white cardstock, taping it down with some post-it tape and I'm centering my watercolor wash freeform stencil, taping a lot, probably too much tape, but I have my distress inks here in rainbow order in my ink stand. People always want to know what's that thing called? It's called the ink stand and it's a handy dandy little tool so you don't have to hold your inks and they, they stay steady when you're blending. Okay, so I've got some Gina K blender brushes and I'm working my way through the rainbow order. And I just go back, back and forth. I start light. You can always build up the intensity, but you can't take it away. So I start light and I go back and forth between the two colors, trying to get a nice seamless and dreamy uh, transition. Okay, and these are new brushes. I bought a new set of Gina K blender brushes with the holder. You know the fancy, you can get like a fancy dancy round blender brush holder that holds the Gina K brushes. Because up until now I've been having my brushes in a mug, which I like the way it looks, but I've noticed they're starting to touch one another. And the other day I pulled out my Twisted Citron, Citron blender brush and I noticed the corner of the brush had candied apple ink on it. And that just chapped my khaki. So I was like, no more of this. I cannot have candied apple on my Twisted Citron. I draw the line. So now I've got this, you know, highfalutin holder. And it's working good so far. But now that I've got my blended panel finished, I'm going to die cut it using this new A2 double stitched rectangle die. This is the largest one. And I don't do this a lot, but I always admire when people take the extra time to die cut their panel with like a stitching border. It just makes it look real professional and very finished, like you mean business. And okay, now here's the star of the show, as far as I'm concerned. It's the Happy Birthday Party Dynamics die set. And this is so cute. When I saw it, I was like giddy because I knew I wanted to do every letter in a different color of solid color cardstock. Now, this is a great time to use your little scraps. And I love using my little um, mini die cutting machine. It's the Altenew Blossom, Mini Blossom. And it just die cuts little pieces like this. Handy dandy. Love it. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go through. Now it takes some time, but you can do like three or four letters. So it's not too bad. And it'll spell it happy birthday in rainbow order. And guess who has a birthday coming up in a couple of days? Emma Bell. My youngest, Emma, is going to be turning 11, and I mean, she's been planning it for a few months. You know how it is when you're 11. You look forward to it, and she's got a list a mile long of all the things she wants and wants to do. And I said, listen, girlfriend, let's write it down, and let's rate it. Give me your top one, two, three, because, you know, we can't do and buy it all. But, you know, let's see what you want. Now, there's all these little doodads in the happy birthday party dynamic set like you can add a crown which i'm going to add a little crown to the a i use some gold metallic cardstock for the pom-pom on the party hat and then i made some little stripes for the party hat and just a shade darker uh, of that kind of aqua cardstock and i'm gluing that on with liquid glue got some tweezers you might need a magnifying glass i'm not there yet but i can tell I'm not that far away to the point that I'm going to need some reading glasses <laughs> to do these intricate little detail work on cards. Now, once I have all my letters, how I want them to look, I'm going to get the lay of the land, lay them out on my blended panel, and just see how I want to space it, how I want to stagger it, and all that jazz. Now, this is where I can fiddle and futz for 30 minutes. No joke. I sped this up, but I did probably... 30 minutes just futzing around with these letters but then when I get it how I want it to go I hold the whole shebang down with some post-it tape and then you can flip it over and add your adhesive of choice now you could do liquid glue but you know me I gotta go insane and add little slivers of foam tape 
Because Dimension is live. And I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. I'm not going to candy coat it. That was cray cray cutting those tiny slivers and trying to get the backing off of tiny slivers. But I say, for Emma and for the shadow, it's all worth it. Now, a couple little extra dies in the happy birthday party dynamics make little party pendant banner thingamajiggies. And I'm going to add some little banner pendants. I don't know what you call them. To the H. I don't really know if there's a rule. I think you can do anything you want to do with all these little die cuts. Just party it up till your heart's content. Okay, and then once I get that how I want it to go, I'm going to pop up this blended panel onto a cream card base. And then for embellishment, not that you need to, but I love to do it. I'm adding a few of these little clear drops here and there for little splashes of love. And this card's probably going to go to Emma. Now, what she really wants is a dog. But she also wants Legos, Barbies, American Girl dolls, and everything else. So I will let you know what we end up getting her because as of yet, hasn't been decided. Because Mom is a horrible procrastinator. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.